True or false? The Air Jordan 4 Frozen Moment has grail potential. I too would like to know who the F is running this account for sneaker news on Twitter because <laughs> this has to just be for engagement, right? I know someone will come here on this video and say, well, oh my goodness, we all have different definitions of a grail. We do, but let's be for real, for real right now. Let's be for effing real. There is no way that you are likely thinking this shoe is grail status. I just want better for you because there are better fours and just better options out there as a grail pair. It is also very interesting when like a brand new pair that comes out and I mean like brand spanking new that'll come out onto the market has like the grail status that's just like thrown on there. I mean, I get it with like certain things that actually are just like, you know, new releases for it. Like I get it, right? Like this was, was definitely certainly, I think like, right? Like grail status for people. Okay, get it 1000%, understand. Exact same thing uh, with this one here, right? Get it, understand, made, made sense. Totally get it, totally understand, right? I get it. But when we're just, when we're just throwing that out, oh, okay. When we're just throwing that out, just for anything, just for any pair, like, no, 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 no. Let's just, let's just, let's just be for real, for real here, okay? Who is running the account? I don't know, but what I find interesting is often we'll see just these tweets or posts or messages that are just put up and you can tell it's just to farm engagement. And it's a difficult task out here to stay within the algorithm's good graces, okay? If you ever see, especially creators on YouTube, and they say, hey, by the way, if you like the content, you like what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button, maybe turn on your bell for notifications, engage in the comments, comment your thoughts and hit the like button. That's for a reason, because it definitely feeds the algorithm and it lets them know that people are engaging, we're having great impressions on people, and you know, it, it would actually funnel traffic to us. So yes, we appreciate when you do all of that, but here's the thing, no matter who you are, if you're an entity or you're a person, you're just a creative, it doesn't matter, okay? It's on you to provide a value that people want to tune into and they want to return to. Like it can't be all just about you wanting like some attention. It has to be you giving them something back or you hope that you're giving them something, right? A value, whether it's entertainment or information or whatever it may be. This here is just farming for engagement on the actual post. And I won't lie, they're getting engagement on this, right? But it's like them being dragged and it's certainly just the false, like not a grail, the shoe is hideous, which I don't have, you don't have to think that the shoe is hideous or disgusting. I don't think that the shoe is hideous in any way. I own all gray pairs. Now, most of the all gray pairs that I own or tend to flock to or wear, most of those all gray pairs, I won't lie, like they are New Balance pairs. Um, I mean, this is all, you know, gray, like the 500 high, I mean, that's all gray too. But most of mine, all gray, they are gonna be New Balances, right? So I totally get that. So I don't think a shoe is trash just because it's predominantly gray. That's not the reason. It's what we would think of as grail status within sneakers. That's not fitting the bill for that. It's just not. And so, you know, do we start to hold these publications and sneaker vlog, you know, blogs, do we hold them more accountable? They get held accountable, I think, sometimes within the comments because people will comment. I see this a lot, more so on Instagram than anything else. It must be a slow day in sneakers, not a whole lot of news. I mean, that happens, right? I mean, there is news that they could certainly report on and continue to build on, such as the change of leadership within Nike and Jordan brand. I mean, we have the first ever woman president for Jordan brand and, you know, specifically, listen, black woman, let's go up for that. Very proud and happy to see that, uh, that transition and that appointment take place. So there are certainly things that they could report on. It's interesting. They don't want to sit here and speak on, right? Nike stock being down where it is. And yeah, they don't want to speak on that. It's just, posting shoes after shoes after shoes. And I get it, we have these early looks and so it is some engagement that you can get, but just think we have to do better. Just, I'm just gonna throw that out there. Just say do better because this was just so real. I really am like KO. Who is running this account? <laughs> because why was this the question um, being thrown out there? And I quote tweeted, quote tweeted, I said the scream, I just let out reading this. I really did. 
like I, I had this like gasp of a scream and then I just kept laughing for a good like 60 seconds. <laughs> Man, uh, maybe there just wasn't a lot for them to speak on within, you know, the last 24 hours of when I'm filming this. I don't know, but please do better. Stop throwing these questions out here. These aren't the questions to throw out here. All right, so how about you comment your thoughts, right? Would that be a grail pair for you? Likely not, okay? Likely not. I could respect, maybe it is the Yeezy Pirate Black. I could respect that. And if that is the case, just be sensible if you're going to buy that, right? I discussed that in a video here that you can go ahead and watch because guess what we do over here? We act our age, not our shoe size.